Hey guys, this week's show, we're getting a little different this week. We're going to go out and sane some minnows. And sane some minnows is, for me personally, is very fun. We do it every year with a couple of my buddies, and it's a blast for us. Plus, we get a bunch of free minnows for the first month or so of the year, as long as we can keep them alive. So today, we're going to go through a little bit on how to sane, some of the stuff you're going to need, and what you can do to store some of these minnows after you get them. So obviously, the first thing you're going to need is a pair of waders. You're going in the water and it's water's 45, 50 degrees, it's cold. You don't want to get wet. If you have a wetsuit, that would be perfect. But you're going to need waders. You're going to need a nice sanding net. You're going to need, uh, I've got a dip net here. And this is, this is my dip net, it's old. They have a lot of them new nowadays, they're nylon nets and steel handles and that. And then you're going to need a cooler. And the cooler you need because you can't use lake water when you transport these minnows. You have to use your house water. You cannot take lake water with you anywhere you go you will get a ticket so make sure you got good clean lake uh, house water make sure you get your cooler your net and you need sunglasses because you got to be able to see if those minnows are in those creeks and streams before you go down there otherwise you're wasting your time so a couple of the rules that you need to know is you need a permit if you're going to sane minnows out of waters that are designated with uh, invasive species such as zebra mussels or flowering rush or the gobies any, any kind of invasive species, and you can find those in the DNR books, or you can call the DNR and ask them if the lake you're looking at sanding in has invasive species in them. Um, that's just for your own safety. You don't want to get a ticket for that, and you don't want to spread this invasive species to other lakes. That's bad. It'll spread fast. So, But you're going to need a fishing license, and you can have or transport 12 dozen minnows with one fishing license. And you cannot have more than 12 dozen while you're in a car. So if you want to get home, you bring that 12 dozen home, put them in your tank, get the aerator on them, you can go back out with and get another 12 dozen, only if you have multiple licenses in the house. So we're going to go out there, we're going to show a couple different techniques. The main one we're going to use is we're going to use this big, long sanding net. This is a two-person one. Um, they work really well for these little cricks. A lot of times they'll span right across the creeks and you can do the whole river in one swipe. And they work extremely well for getting a lot of minnows at one time. Um, the dip net, we'll use a little bit of that later. If you can find them in smaller areas, spots where you can kind of sit on the bank and swoop at them, this, the sanding net will work awesome. So we'll go through a couple of these today. We'll get some minnows in our net and getting ready for opener because it's coming soon. So stay with us. Hey guys, we just got down to the river here. And we're getting ready to get in the water and start sanding some of these minnows and it's a real workout But this thing is, is worth it. I mean the money you save is just and it's fun It's something that we do me and my buddy Jared We do it every year and we just have a blast doing it So our plan of attack is we're gonna come down into the river here We're gonna come under the bridge and we're gonna push minnows up with our net We're gonna be on each one on each side of the net and uh, we'll have another guy standing up farther, kind of kicking the mud, kicking the sand up, keeping those minnows from coming past him, pushing them back towards us. And if everything goes right, when we scoop our net up out of the shore, we should have a few dozen minnows in there and get them in our coolers and be on our way. But it's a gorgeous day out here. We got our nets, we got the suns out, water's nice and warm. So we're gonna go down there and give it a shot.
just got back from the river and I want to show you guys how at least I like to store my minnows and that's worked really well for me I get about a month month and a half I can keep them alive which is pretty good for shiners everybody knows you buy shiners at the store and they die before you even get to the lake half the time so this is how I store them. I got this big tank here this is an 80 gallon water tank that I got at a fleet supply store it's plastic it's light it's I mean it's heavy with water in it but it's light for moving around and I can go hide it back in the shed when I'm done for the year and then uh, what I've got is I've just got a commercial air pump here it's just a big aerator pumping a lot of air into the water and that's important these shiners are sensitive you need cool clean water and you need lots of oxygen to keep them alive for any period of time so another fact here is don't use water after your softener that's salted water it's cleaned up it's it's full of all your salt from your from your softener keep that water out if you can help it use water from your hose that comes in before the softener comes straight out of the well a lot of times with city water it's already there so if you can help it try to you can buy products to put in the water let's put it that way that'll help pull the, the bad stuff out of the water for the minnows and it'll give them a little nutrients and something to get in there so that's pretty much it I, I change my water about every day every two days um, that's a big thing you want clean crisp water in there the better water you can put in there the longer your minnows will last um, you don't really need to feed them nothing I guess if you want to have the kids throw some crackers in there go ahead but this is pretty much the basic thing I'll keep them right inside my garage where it's nice and cool and they'll be here when I need them for next week an opener so I hope you guys enjoyed this to go out there and kind of find some of them minnows just look over the bridges you can see them shimmering down there get your big sanding nets you can get them at any stores some dip nets some um, even some square trap nets Go out there and you just got to mess around for a while until you figure out different ways that you can get those minnows into your net. So take it easy. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.